Hi everybody, we're going to do a Q&A today. We're going to cover our polo shirts and we're also going to do some styling tips on the new colors that we have this season. So our polo shirts, which we've been making for about nine years now, uh, what's special about them is that we actually put a shirt collar on it instead of a knitted collar like you see on most polo shirts. So what that means is that when you wear it, it stands up properly under a jacket. And how we do that is, like I said, we put a shirt collar in there. So there's a collar band and there's a separate collar piece. And that's what allows it to kind of stand up and frame the face and just be that little bit more flattering when you're wearing it with more tailored pieces. And you know, it's a nice way to take something that might be quite formal and just give it a little bit of a casual spin as well. All right, now let's have a look at some colors. So the first color we're gonna look at today is this purple. And uh, let's start with something quite simple. So let's start with that classic gray trouser, blue blazer look. You might notice we are filming from a slightly new angle today. We have equipped our cameraman, Sam, with the wonders of a step. So you can get a little bit higher. So there you go. Classic blue blazer look, um, but just made a little bit more interesting, a little bit more unusual with the addition of this polo. And let's say we want to make that a little bit more casual. So what could we do? Could change it to blue jeans like that. And you know, obviously it still looks great with the dark navy blazer, but actually, I'm a fan of this. I think this would be great with our boating blazer, our striped boating blazer like that, and then tassel loafers. I think that's a really cool way to wear that. Okay, let's move on. Next thing we have, because obviously we've done quite a dark palette so far, next thing we have is this, pastel yellow, very bright, very summery. And what you could do with this is white jeans, if you want to stay more casual, or khakis, khaki chinos, if you want it to be a little bit dressier. Um, this would obviously look great on its own, but if you were to add a sport jacket to the mix, I like this. Patterned sport jacket in beige brown and with a navy over check like that. And in terms of belts and in terms of shoes, I think for the khaki, I like dark brown calf or brown suede like that. And you could wear it with something like this. Yeah. So a pair of darbies. Or you could also just wear it with a pair of brown tassel loafers like I'm wearing right now. I think that's cool. And I think the you could do the brown tassel loafers if it was on the jeans too. Like if you wanted to dress this down a little bit, you could remove all the calf elements, switch to that, or even you could add in tan. I think tan would look lovely on these colors as well. Like that. So there you go, very casual summer outfit there with or without the jacket. Now, let's move on to um, this is a new type of polo material that, it's the first season we've tried it. I'm pretty excited about it. So it's melange blue. Um, it's got a lot of, it's got a lot of color in it. You know, it's going between like pale gray to quite an electric blue. And it, it gives you a lot of options as a result. But let's start real simple, something fairly tonal. So this with a pair of blue cotton chinos. And then we just got this in last week. It is our three PB, our three pocket blues on design in blue and white seersucker like that. And then, you know, I think you could wear this again with the tans like that. Cause I think this does need a little bit of kind of warm orange-ish sort of color. Uh, or if you find the tan a little too strong, I think you could do this as well. And in fact, what I like about this pair of snuff shoes that I just put on the table is they match these buttons a little bit better. Oops, sorry. There we go. So that's one way you could wear this blue melange. But another way you could do it is with this. A pair of tailored trousers in a pale gray. Like that. I think you could stick with the snuff shoes again, 
Although I actually do like it a little bit better with that tan. Like I feel like for the summer, you know, these stronger colors are, are nice, especially under the sunlight. Okay, last color. Um, we are going to look at mint. So this is our kind of mint, pistachio, something in that color family. And the first thing I wanted to put it with, which I kind of wanted to do as soon as I saw this color, is our seersucker from this season. Just because our seersucker from this season is not a cotton seersucker, it's a wool seersucker, and it's got kind of a cream instead of a white base, as well as a warmish, taupeish gray um, for the other part of the seersucker. Let's have a look at that as a full suit. So I think that's really cool. Like, it's very subtle, but I love how the green slowly fades into the seersucker. Um, I think, though, it is worth using something like tan, again, to just break it up and add a little bit more, add a little bit more of a striking color into the mix. So I think that's one way you could wear it, or um, if you want to go in a kind of more, kind of a darker color direction, let's try this. Olive chinos, like that with, let's see, where is it gone? A pair of dark brown darbies like that. And then let's go back to the navy blazer from whence we came. There you go, like that. I think that's a nice setup. You know, it's casual, but it's got some really interesting colors going on in it, like that subtle olive, that beautiful pale green, and then shoes to match, and then a navy just to top it all off. Alrighty, um, our polos, they come in short sleeve and long sleeve. We do them in this cutaway style collar. We actually also do a button down collar style as well, which is really good. Um, if you have any other ideas on how we could put these things together, we'd love to hear from you. Feel free to leave a comment, and thanks for watching.